Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another awesome video. My name is Lewis and in today's video we're going to be talking about the best Porsches that you can buy under $25,000. Now the reason I wanted to bring this up and talk to you guys about this is because I'm in the market for a second car to add to the channel. As you guys know, um, I want it to sit alongside my 2017 718 Cayman S in case this is your first time visiting the channel, uh, this car is lowered on H&R lowering springs and it is also APR stage one tuned. Um, now I want to add a second car to the channel, just have more variety, uh, bring you guys more content and kind of do a different kind of build. This is a newer car, I'd love to bring a manual car to the channel. Um, so with that being said, that's why I wanted to make this video to kind of bring you guys along with me on the process of choosing my next car. Now, if you're wondering why we're sitting in the garage instead of outside on a beautiful day like we usually shoot these videos, it's because my car is currently not drivable. Uh, the other day, I had a little too much fun and because of that, the car needs a fresh set of tires. So it is going in this Saturday to Port South Orlando to get some new Michelin uh, Pilot Sport 4S tires. I'm excited right now I'm running Nittos on the car. That's what it came with when I bought it. And these tires, to be honest, are not the best. So I'm excited to see how the car performs once we get the Michelins on it. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys how bad the tires are because it's really bad. Uh, let me show you that before we start the video. So if you come over here, you can see that we are starting to show some thread there. But if you come to this side, this is this is even worse. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. You can see the metal. You know, these tires are pretty worn. So because of that, we are shooting the video in the garage. And like I said, not outside driving the car, but trust me, we will go back to regularly scheduled videos uh, very soon. So let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video on the best Porsches that you can buy under $25,000 right now. Um, let's just hop right in. The first car that I'm looking at, which is under $25,000, that would, I, I think would be absolutely perfect for the channel, is a 2006 to 2008. Porsche Cayman with the manual gearbox. Now these cars go for around twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. Now pre-COVID, these cars were going for like fifteen thousand dollars, kind of higher mileage models. Uh, but because of COVID, because the whole car industry is you know booming right now, everything everything went up in value. So. I still think at twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars, it's a great car. You're still getting a lot of value for your money. Uh, Caymans kind of drive the same whether you have an 06 or a 2017 like this one. Uh, the only difference is kind of like you know over the years they kind of improved it little by little, but the driving experience is basically the same. And I'd love to get a Cayman on the channel and do like a full on race car build. I'm talking about roll cage, racing seats, um, Olin suspension, uh, you know, the retractable uh, steering wheel, big wing, like low on the floor, maybe turn it into a, an actual Cayman spec race car and start doing some, some racing out in like Sebring. So let me know what you guys think about that because that's really a top contender for me. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Instead of taking the 718 Cayman S on track, I can kind of use this to go around town, to go on rallies, um, and to kind of do road trips in this and then keep the 2006 Cayman for track use because I know when I made my last video, a few of you guys said that you wanted to see more track content. And uh, I'd love to get into tracking these cars more and going to the track more. So the 2006 to 2008 Porsche Cayman, I think would be a fantastic car under $25,000. Um, 
So, uh, and that doesn't just go for me, you know, and for what I'm using it for. Like, if you are in the market for a Porsche and you want to spend $25,000 or less, the Porsche Cayman is such a good car. I've driven a 2000, I think I drove a 2007 and I was absolutely mind blown. Those cars drive amazing. Like I can't believe in 2007, those things were driving around. <laughs> so if you're in the market for one, you cannot go wrong with a 2006, to 2008 Porsche Cayman as long as you get the manual gearbox. The automatic, it wasn't the, uh, the best. <laughs> So the next car that is a contender and also a great Porsche for under $25,000 is a 1999 to 2001 Porsche 911. Now, these are the 911s that people tend to hate or not like or look down on, mainly because of the engine that went in it and because it has the running egg headlights. Uh, personally, I think the headlights look just fine, honestly. Um, every time I see one now, because every other Porsche has the normal headlights, then that year 911, like it kind of stands out because of those headlights. And I remember these cars were selling for like nothing pre-COVID, like it was crazy. Like I was looking at one that was a full aero kit car, looked just like a GT3 with like 80,000 miles and I think the guy wanted like 15 grand and it was speed yellow and this was like maybe two years ago and now if you want one you know the bottom of the bottom starts at 15 like we're talking about a car with 140,000 miles and then they go all the way up to 25,000 and some some of them actually went past 25,000 which is crazy but you know there's a few weird things with this car one, uh, you have to worry about um, some motor issues. So I would look into that kind of 996.1 motor issues if you are gonna get one so that you can kind of be aware of those issues and maybe make sure that yours is, you know, well taken care of. And then also that year 911 is very low on power. Um, how do I say this lightly? they can't get out of their own way. But, you know, for my, for what I'm doing, uh, I wanna build a car for the channel. Like, I wanna do a crazy build. The 718 is gonna be insane, and I can't wait to show you guys what I have planned for this car. Like, you legitimately, I, I don't think anyone's gonna guess what I'm doing to this car. It's going to be crazy, um, definitely. Easy, I can, I can definitely say it's gonna be way better than a GT4 by the time I'm done with it. Uh, but the whole point of this is I wanna do a build. So if the 2001 or 1999-911 is what I choose, I know that it doesn't have that much power, but you can supercharge them, you can turbocharge them. Uh, you can do so much to these cars and they're just so good looking. And even if you aren't doing any of that, even if you're just buying it for you just to have the car, yes, it doesn't have that much power, but it's not about the power most of the time. Like you just take that car out for a drive in some twisty roads, you know, on a Sunday morning, you are gonna have the time of your life. And that's why I added that to my contender list. And that's why I added that to this list because for under $25,000, that is an absolutely amazing car and you really can't go wrong with it. So the third car that um, I was thinking of buying would kind of change things just a little bit. It's a 2006 to 2008 Porsche Boxster. Now this car for under $25,000 is amazing but it gets even crazier because you can honestly find this car for about 15 to like $18,000 with some decent miles. It's gonna be a little bit high mileage, but you know, these cars are bulletproof. I wouldn't really worry about the miles. Um, now, if I go with a Porsche Boxster, I can't really go that crazy with the build because it's a convertible, but I would personally just love to have a convertible in the garage, um, you know, it, I live in Florida, so I'm probably not going to drive a convertible during the day much, 
but man, it would be awesome to take it out at night and, uh, you know, top down. It, it just be, it, it'd be so much fun. I, I had a convertible a few years ago. Um, it wasn't a Porsche, but I had a convertible and I just love putting the top down. Uh, so if that's something that you guys like doing, honestly, for 15 to $18,000, you can get into a really nice Porsche Boxster uh, and you'll have the time of your life. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Uh, you know, I would be buying it second car for the channel. So I would have to get creative on the content I make with the Porsche Boxster if I bought it. And that's why it's not very high on my list as a contender. But if I was just a consumer, just buying this car, just to have it, then it would be high on my list uh, as one of the best Porsches that you can buy for under $25,000 because it's just such a fun car. It's basically everything that a Porsche Cayman will give you, but with the top down, like it's, it's awesome. I'm, one of my friends actually just bought a 718 Boxster S and I drove it the other day and man, that car is so much fun and it is so planted. Um, we actually did autocross with his car and the car did amazing. It honestly performs just as good as the Cayman. I think it would take a professional driver to, uh, to extract you know, more out of a Cayman than you can from a Boxster. All right, now the last car on the list. This car would be the craziest build ever. Uh, and I, I want to do it so bad, but there are so many hurdles to it. Um, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. It's a 2009 Porsche Cayenne. And you're probably thinking, why would you get an SUV for the channel if you want to do a crazy build? Well, what I was thinking was the Cayman can kind of be like my street car slash track car slash road trip car. And we can turn the Porsche Cayenne into a full on off road build. Um, I love the outdoors and I don't have an off road car. And honestly, I don't spend enough time like, you know, going on nature trails and visiting national parks. But if I had an off road built Porsche Cayenne, I bet you I'd spend a lot more time in national parks. Uh, so it, that's honestly a top contender for me. Um, I think it'd be really cool. I think it'd be really unique for the channel. Um, and maybe it won't attract as many views as a, you know, Porsche Cayman that's being built into a straight up race car. But doing YouTube is also about enjoying yourself and, you know, making this fun. And I know that I would have so much fun with that, uh, with that build and creating an off-road Cayenne. So it, it's something I'm thinking about. But even if you're not doing a crazy build and you just, you have a family and you want a Porsche, a Porsche Cayenne, uh, a 2009, you can get it easily for under $25,000. And that's honestly a cool car. <laughs> You're, you know, it still looks good. It's, it drives great. Uh, I think they may have had some minor engine issues. So I would look into that first. Uh, but overall, like you, you can't beat that for $25,000 for less than $25,000. That is a great car. So I hope you guys like that list of uh, the four best Porsches you can buy for under $25,000. If you guys think that my list is crap and there are other cars that you can buy for $25,000 that are way better, um, leave that in the comments below. I'd love to know. Um, and just if you guys have any questions or comments on like what I'm planning to do, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm gonna do my very best to respond to every single person who comments. Um, and also guys, we have so many cool things planned for the channel. This car is officially getting wrapped this weekend. Um, so that video is coming soon. I can't wait to show you guys the color that we chose. This car is gonna look absolutely amazing. Um, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. Oh, one last thing. We hit a thousand subscribers, like I said in my last video which means I have to do the giveaway. So in the next video, I'm gonna be talking about the giveaway uh, for the channel. I'm gonna be giving away three things to three subscribers. 
So I'll be letting you guys know how you can enter to win that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching if you made it to this point. Um, if you're not subscribed, uh, please do. Uh, the channel is definitely growing fast and I appreciate all the support that anyone gives me uh, for this channel. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.